welcome. I'm here at Hoffman Academy of Music, and today we're learning about rhythm. In talking about rhythm, it's important also to understand what a beat is. In music, the beat is the pulse that happens underneath the rhythms. For example, if I'm tapping my hands like this, this could be the beat of my song. But on top of that beat, we might hear a rhythm like this. Ba, 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 ba. You'll notice that my hands always stayed steady. That is the beat of the music. The rhythm was combining patterns of shorter and longer sounds together in one complex pattern. Ba, 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 ba. Some of the sounds were longer, some were quicker. That makes rhythm. But the rhythm is always happening on top of a beat. Ba, 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 ba. So remember, in music, the beat is steady. The rhythms can vary, some faster, some slower, and longer sounds. Now, in music, beats are usually grouped in bunches of twos, threes, fours, sometimes even more. The first beat in each group is usually the strongest. So if we were doing a song with groupings of three beats, the beats might sound like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If we were doing a song that had groups of four beats, it might sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Beat one is the strong beat. Sometimes it's called the down beat. That's because when a conductor is conducting the beat, they always drop their hand down on beat one, and that helps everyone feel the strong beat one. The most common grouping of beats is actually four beats in a group. And in music, we call those groups of beats measures. The first kind of note we're going to talk about is the whole note. It's called the whole note because if we were using measures of four beats, this note would take up the whole measure. It lasts four beats long. So if my hands are clapping the beat, a whole note would sound like this. Ba. So next to this whole note, I'm going to draw four hearts to represent four beats. And the whole note equals all four of those beats. Every note in music also has a corresponding rest, kind of like a cousin, which also receives the same amount of time. But instead of a sound that lasts that many beats, it's silence that lasts that many beats. The rest that equals four beats looks like this. Some people say it looks like an upside down hat. Uh, some people say it kind of looks like a hole in the ground. If this line is the ground, then this rectangle part could be a hole. Now a whole note is spelled W-H-O-L-E. So it's not that kind of whole, really, but it's a fun way to remember what a whole rest looks like. So if you saw a whole rest in music, it would be silence lasting four beats, like this. No sound for the length of four beats. Now the next kind of note we're going to learn is the half note. And a half note is called a half note because it lasts for half as long as a whole note. So what would half of these four beats be? If you took just half of those beats, you'd only have two beats left. So a half note equals two beats. Half notes would sound like this. Ba, ba. You notice I was able to clap two times for every one sound I made. That's a half note. The half rest looks like this.
What do you notice about the half rest? It is the upside down version of the whole rest. Some people say it looks like a hat, and since hat sounds like half, that's another easy way you can remember what a half rest looks like. Now, if we took each half note and cut it in half, then how many notes we, would we get? If you said four, you would be right. So if we were doing one measure of this kind of note, we would be able to fit four of them in one measure of four beats. And just like four quarters equals a dollar, four quarter notes equals one whole note. That's right, these notes are called quarter notes because four of them can equal one whole note. So each one by itself equals one beat. This means quarter notes sound like this, the exact same speed as the beat. Ba, 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 ba. That is the sound of quarter notes. A quarter rest looks like this. Kind of a zigzag with a hook at the bottom. This is a quarter rest, one beat of silence. Now we can keep going from here. You'll notice that every time we cut a note in half, it gets twice as fast in relationship to the beat. Now we can even cut a quarter note in half. If we cut every one of these quarter notes in half, how many notes would we be able to get? Let's find out. If you said eight notes, you're correct. These are called eighth notes because you can fit eight of them in the space of four beats. Eighth notes sound like this. There are going to be two sounds within every one beat, like this. Ba, 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 ba. Will you try that with me? Clap the beat and try to make the sound of eighth notes. Ba, 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 ba. Now, eighth notes, one eighth note all by itself only equals one half of a beat. You'll notice these two eighth notes make a pair, and they're connected with a beam. But it is possible to draw an eighth note all by itself, and that looks like this. It has a note head, a stem, and a flag. If you want to draw an eighth rest, it looks like this. This is called an eighth rest. Now we can keep going even further. We're going to cut each one of these eighth notes in half. If we cut every single one of these in half, how many notes would we get? You said 16. You're right. These are called sixteenth notes because you can fit sixteen of them in the space of four beats. Sixteenth notes go twice as fast as eighth notes and four times as fast as quarter notes. They go fast enough that you can fit four of them in the time it takes to do one beat. So if this is my beat, this is what sixteenth notes sound like. Now, will you try that with me? Let's tap the beat and we'll say, make the sound of 16th notes. Go. Very good. If you wanted to draw just one 16th note, you draw it like this. It's a note head with the stem and now two flags. 
You'll notice that the 16th notes must have two beams going across. If it, they have only one beam, there'll be an eighth note. Sixteenth notes only take up a quarter of a beat. And the sixteenth rest looks like this. A quarter of a beat of silence. Now, if we wanted to go really fast, we could even divide the sixteenth notes in half. If we divided every one of these 16 notes in half, we could get 32 notes in the space of four beats. So we'd call them 32nd notes. I'm not going to draw all of them, but let's just do one group of 32nd notes. To go that fast, you have to have three beams. And when that happens, you can get eight notes in the space of one beat. Now this is going super fast. If this is my beat, 30 second notes would sound like this. <laughs> Almost so fast I can't do it with my lips. It's fun to watch pianists play 30 second notes though. Some composers like Beethoven and Mozart often use 30 second notes to make a very fast and exciting sound. One 30 second note all by itself looks like this. One note head with three flags. And a 30 second rest looks like this. <clears throat> now, you can even take 30 second notes and cut those in half, in which case what kind of note do you think you would get? If you took 32 notes and cut them all in half, you could get 64 notes. So we call those 64th notes. And they would have four beams instead of three and four flags. Even very rarely, you can see one faster than that. If you cut 64th notes in half, then you get 128th notes with five beams or five flags. I've never seen any faster than that. If you find a note faster than that, please email me. I'd like to see that song. So let's review for a moment. Can you say the names of all of these notes with me? I'll point to the note and you try to say it. What's this note? It's a whole note. And its cousin rest is called what? That's right, a whole rest. These two notes are called what? Half notes. They equal two beats, and their cousin rest is called a half rest. What are these notes called? They're called quarter notes. And here's the quarter rest. What would you call these notes? If you said eighth notes, you're correct. What about this row of notes? What are they called? If you said 16th notes, you're correct. And this is a 16th rest. And finally, down here, we have 30 second notes with a 30 second rest.